everyone and welcome to MissionChief.com. So, I had um, kept things nice and calm so that um, I could do a proper introduction to this. Um, however, I have now realised in my massive, massive intelligence that I left the microphone on mute through the whole thing. So 18 minutes of video is now out the window and we're starting again. So welcome to MissionChief.com. This is a game I didn't actually think I, well, um, I wasn't too sure if I would like it or not. But since actually playing it, oh god, I'm hooked on it. <laughs> um, I, 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 I think it's good fun. So basically, we are a 999 controller. Um, we are based, you can actually, you can do this anywhere in the world, UK, North Korea if you really wanted. Um, I don't even know if there's any roads registered in Antarctica, but whatever. Um, so, uh, I'm part of an alliance which is called 999 Response and we cover the entire United Kingdom. So people online at the moment, you've got myself up in Scotland, and then we've got um, uh, quite a few, quite a few down in Englandshire. So this is everybody who's online at the moment. Yay! Um, have I got a thing to um, vehicle names? Oh, alliance, here we go. So, s s s buildings from Alliance members is on. Uh, yeah, sure, there we go. So, yes, um, we can... We can see the extent of the coverage of everybody in the Alliance. We've got quite a good portion of the UK covered. Which is pretty cool, pretty cool. So... Uh, I'm in charge of Lothian and Borders, which is my kind of home area. So that consists of Edinburgh, um, West Lothian, which is kind of around here. You've got Mid Lothian, which is kind of where all the icons are. East Lothian is this big swab over here, and then the Scottish Borders um, is a very big area. Um, now, because you need to pay for stations, uh, you can't just instantly vomit stations everywhere. You can pay for it. Um, you can you can put have a lot of money in <laughs> but um we're we're working through it. I have put some money in money into this which is why we've got quite a lot of stations going around. Um little wildfire, so we need one more fire truck. Now are you the one uh Okay, so let's just go down here. So B six three seven one. So that's that. That is this one. Okay, so the Trent Fire Service is on the way, and we will talk a little bit about um, what is going on. Um, okay, so we'll start off first of all. I was hoping to get some peace to do this, but now that all these are um, all these events are starting, we are going to be interrupted. My very first station was here in Dalkeith. It's the Dalkeith Fire Station. Um, so um, the way I've worked it, um, basically, it's got four units. It's, it's funny actually because it's a tiny station, um, but it has in real life it has a pump appliance. It has the Water Rescue Unit, Urban Search and Rescue Team, and the British Red Cross Fire Support Vehicle. So what I've done in this is um, we've got the pump unit, which is here. Um, water Rescue isn't included in the game, and Urban Search and Rescue isn't included in the game. So I've kind of merged them into one response vehicle, which uh, is a much smaller vehicle. So it has much more limited firefighting capabilities, and it's mostly used for um, incident response and providing more staff. Uh, a utility vehicle is provided, which is why it has a different icon. Um, and this is done by the British Red Cross. So I'm using the, um, it's called the old Lothian and Borders method, because it's still used, but it's, um, it's changing uh, into a nationwide system. Uh, but I'm using the Lothian and Borders version, and the way it works is you've got a two-digit um, station number, and then a one-digit appliance number at the end. So one denotes the primary running pump, which is the first pump to get called out in any situation. Two is the secondary pump, 
three is the height appliance, so um, aerial ladder platforms, hydraulic platforms, um, and turntable ladders. Four denotes a specialist vehicle, and five denotes um, fire investigation, which I don't really know if I'll get to use. I might use it for fire officers and things, but I don't know. Uh, in terms of the station number, I do know that um, Del Keith is five five one, uh, and I but uh, I'm not using the real number because um, I don't know the real station number for all of them because I don't have access to um, a list of them all. So instead what I'm using this is the Scottish Fire and Rescue website um, and I've got it loaded in for um, well East Division so um, the, basically the whole of the East thing. And I'm just using the station number off here so 20 is Dalkeith hence I've called it 21. Uh, 20 and then 1. So, yeah, there we go. Um, now, we just had an alarm, so we've got a fallen person. So, this will be an ambulance. So, ND2 is going all the way back. It's only 20 seconds away, actually. So, we'll alert it to go respond to this. Right. Um, so, the other thing to talk about is the way that I am doing... So, if I now go on to... Let's go to their support vehicle and then edit... So you see here there's an option to set the start delay which is the amount of times from receiving an emergency call will it actually deploy. I've got this set to 300 seconds which is 5 minutes which is quite long but then British Red Cross it needs to call on its volunteers and they need time to actually get there. So this is probably faster than is realistic but you know there's always a fine line between uh, bore, like a kind of boring wait because of realism and you know gameplay, and I think this about this about um, covers it. So the way I've got it working is um, the police and ambulance service and the fire incident response vehicles. So the um, the Toyota here, they're all on a 30 second response time. Fire pumps are 60 second response time. Specialist fire vehicles are 100 seconds, and um, kind of reserve units are uh, five minutes response. So stuff like the British Red Cross, um, we've got the Coast Guard, and we also have a retained fire station. Um, they're all five minutes response time. So let's just get a fire engine mobilized. We'll get Musselburgh's pump deployed to the fire station in Musselburgh, uh, to the fire that's in Musselburgh. Um, everything else is going well. Okay, so that was Dalkeith Fire Station. Um, the other thing in Dalkeith that we've got, we've got the British Red Cross Station, which consists of two ambulances. One thing I should say, um, you will get, <laughs> you will get to know the fact that I have a really terribly shitty slow internet, so um, we're going to have to deal with that one, I am afraid. Um, so yes, it has two um, ambulances that are available for use should we need them. Um, also in Dalkeith, we've got the Dalkeith Police Station, which is the um, J Division headquarters and um, so it's home to incident response policing team and the trunk roads policing unit so um, obviously in real life it has much more vehicles than this but I don't have infinite money to go buy them um, so we've got two response vehicles and the road policing unit Volvo uh, theft of property from vehicles so let's just get police so we'll just We'll grab one of the incident response vehicles from Dalkeith. So it's in Dalhousie Mains S Bank, so... Wait, where? They have to properly... Oh, okay, so it's, it's actually closer to Bonnie Ray. Um, anyway, go, moving on, we have um, Midlothian Community Hospital, which is a small hospital that has a small surgical wing. Uh, it also has a small inpatient wing. It doesn't have an A and an E, but we can use it for dropping off people um, for... Small emergencies. Um, you've got Bonnie Rigg Police Station, which at the moment is home to just one police vehicle in the sim. Um, further out, you have the Newton Grange um, Depot, which is a small ambulance.
station. Um, at the moment, it's got a Peugeot Boxer and a Mercedes Sprinter. In real life, it does have another Peugeot Boxer on top of this, which is actually broken down at the moment. It's been replaced with a 2008 um, VW Crafter. Um, and there is also a Honda CRV Rapid Response vehicle there. I think there's also a couple of um, mm, chimney fire. Okay. Um, I think there's also a couple of um, mm -hmm. kind of officers cars floating around but uh, I'm not all too sure so let us get some vehicles to this chimney fire now a chimney fire is usually quite serious and you need the ladder platform for it. So um, let me just go here. We'll get the ALP mobilized. And we'll grab New Craig Hall's pump as well. We'll get them onto the scene. Okay. So this is one of the more specialist units you get. So basically as you get further and further along um, in the game, you get more stations, you get more vehicles, you get more specialist vehicles. And that gives you access to some... Um, that gives you access to some uh, more specialised crimes. Because when you... Uh, I keep calling them crimes, for God's sake. Gives you access to more specialised incidents. So um, at the start of the game all you're kind of really doing is dealing with I, I remember it was just broken trees and straw fires up the wazoo which kind of got mm, a bit a wee bit boring <laughs> after a while because making credits can be quite slow particularly at the start uh, obstruction in the traffic let's get police have we got the roads policing unit we'll get roads policing unit up to the obstruction Right, so we need the platform truck, so it's on the way, and actually we don't need... We don't need the pump. It's saying it's not required, so we'll just get... Oh, for God's sake, right. We'll back alarm New Craig Hall's fire appliance. So, New Craig Hall, and we'll get uh, 181. Oh, there's a back alarm button right there! That's nice and convenient! <laughs> Some people are asking for um, <laughs> shout outs already, so yay. This is uh, this is the, basically the Alliance chat, so everybody is, um, everybody who's online at the moment is here, so you've got Tom from Southeast 999 videos uh he's got his youtube channel here which uh i guess i'm gonna have to put a link it to it in the description because i'm not expecting you to pause a goddamn video and type out each thing <laughs> but yes um and i'll have to say to uh, baxi <laughs> that um i can't give a shout out to what his business is if i don't know what it is <laughs> i cannot shout out your business <laughs> Alrighty, so we'll come back to that in a little minute. So, um, right, New Craig Hall was there. So we got to see Trin. I'm so sorry for my crap internet. It's just, it's honestly the worst. Uh, oh wow. So this is the obstruction in traffic that the uh, the police are coming out to. Um, right, so Trenent is home to a small police station, so at the moment we have uh, one Ford Connect base there, uh, and we've also got the retained fire station. So this fire station, um, because it's retained, it means the firefighters come from uh, normal civilian life, they have to be called up in the event of an emergency. As such, it takes them a lot longer to get to um, incidents, um, just because they need to wait for the adequate people to arrive. Um, right, okay. So that was Trinent. Move it on to Musselbra. Um, so you've got Musselbra Fire Station, which is one of the ones that was photographed um, when I did my station visits to New Craig Hall and Musselbra recently. Um, so we have the 
um, Muscle Bros Soul Fire Appliance, which is a pumping unit, and um, there it's also home to Fisher Rose uh, Mitsubishi L200, which is part of the Coast Guard. Now, a few people on the website, uh, sorry, on the Alliance chat, um, we had a wee discussion, and uh, we decided because there's no water rescue implemented in the game. Um, the, the most realistic thing to have it would be to have it as an ambulance because it does have you know like defibrillators and some life-saving equipment aboard whereas it has no firefighting equipment on board so that's here if available and we have another call so acute asthma attack now where is it it's in east houses so it's actually quite close to the ambulance depot of newton grange and there's an ambulance home so let's get that deployed i'll get the pugil boxer out Mourn the Puggles! Um, right, okay, so that was Musselbra, Musselbra's fire station. Uh, Musselbra's police station is another station right in the heart of Musselbra. We've got New Craig Hall, which is uh, the primary station that I photographed a couple of weeks back now. There is um, three appliances here at the moment. It's marginally unrealistic, and I'll explain why. So basically, you've got... Um, the pumping unit and the heavy rescue unit, both of which were photographed. It doesn't actually have a, um, a height appliance, so I've put it down as an ALP. Um, it doesn't have it, but after you've built three fire stations, you need to have an ALP. And I don't actually have a station built that actually houses an ALP. An ALP. So temporarily, um, it is based at New Craig Hall Fire Station for the moment. Um, moving back into town, and this is the kind of furthest into town that we've got so far, we've got Craig Miller Police Station, which is home to Shady Internet. Um, right, we've got home to Ford Focus and uh, a Mercedes Sprinter Public Order Vehicle. Um, and then we have the big Pepper Mill Ambulance um, kind of workshop. Um, this is going to be the biggest uh, depot that I'll have for ambulances. Um, but at the moment, it's only got the two because I don't have money for more. Uh, diabetic problems, and it's EH17, so it's right next to Pepper Mill. So we'll get one of Pepper Mills out. Pepper Mills Crafter. Right, okay, so VW Crafter is going to go. And the final thing to discuss is the... Um, Edinburgh Royal Infirmary. So this is a full hospital. This is eventually going to have all of the units on it. So if I go to here, yeah, at the moment, because um, as I say, I don't have infinite money to just buy my way through everything. Um, it's going to have all of this. Um, we just need to wait for that to happen. So yes, um, that is all the stations I have for the moment. And this is Scotland. So let us have a little look around. Not on this, not on this, not on this. <laughs> There's uh, quite a few people that are... Still checking to see if I am recording. Do 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 do. All oh, right. Oh Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I sell a strange white powder. Promote for <laughs> redacted. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh dear. So no one else is. The only shout out. So, um, right. Now, this is something that annoys me, and at the start, it, it confused the hell out of me. You see, we've got a little alert here for a vehicle has a talking wish. Now, if you walk up to any random person, hell, if you walk up to an emergency service enthusiast and say a vehicle has a talking wish, they will think you have gone absolutely fucking bonkers. <laughs> It's a bad translation. What it means is somebody needs to get taken to hospital. So, let's get this done. Now, um, okay, so I'm going to send it to Midlothian Community Hospital. So, the way I plan to do this in the future is to um, have 
have everything go to the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh and then only overflow goes to uh, Midlothian Community Hospital or unless it's perhaps not serious but of course because they're both effectively identical at this stage of the game they can go to either or and I don't have enough ambulances to justify the very long journey it is from the far reaches of town into the Royal Infirmary. Uh, I can also send them down to um, the Alliance Hospitals but like... 400 kilometers away? Nah, we're good. We're good. We'll just go to Midlothian. <laughs> okay. So, uh, diabetic problems. I didn't actually check where it was, but thankfully it tells me. So, Newton Grange Depot is going to be the closest. So, we'll get a sprinter over there. Do 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 and vo I don't know I don't know why he's Oh right, okay, I get you. Ah, okay, the game's actually smarter than me. I was wondering why he didn't just go here, but of course he's arriving from this way and he needs to actually turn at the junction. The, the game's smarter than me. Um right, Craig Hall, let's check this. Now, this is a problem, because I can't remember if Muscle Bros Pump is home, so let's alarm you need two fire... Ah, Musper's fire truck is home. Thank God for that. You need two fire appliances to fight a caravan fire. So we'll get new Craig Hall and a Musselbra alerted. Um, so they're going to start... Obviously, new Craig Hall's fire is going to... Why is there... Who on earth thinks there's a caravan at Miller Hill? Train defo. Um Anywho... How are we doing for time? Like I say, I'm a little bit confused time-wise because I actually had to restart this recording, as I said, at the start of the video. But we'll be keeping it going. Well, we're only 20 minutes in, so <laughs> it's not all that far yet. Okay, so we're going to watch the response to this. Um, ah, okay, right. So both of these have come out. We also have alcoholic intoxication. This is in Trinent, so I'm actually going to need to go into this. I'm going to need to back alarm the police vehicle. Um, and then I need to alarm it to get over here. So back alarm basically says just cancel any missions that you're on and respond to something else. So um, alcoholic intoxication is usually quite um, it's quite an interesting call because it can be quite varied. Because sometimes uh, you, the police will get called to the scene and then that's all fine and dandy. They'll leave and everything is done. Um, but other times, you know, people can get injured from it as uh, this chimney fire is taking it forever and the obstruction in traffic is almost clear so let's pop down and say hello see if anyone's said much <laughs> So this is general chat, so we, as I say, we've got a whole UK-wide alliance going on here, and uh, there's a few emergencies going on. There's no alliance-wide missions. Um, Scotland's quite a remote part, so we don't tend to get called into too many things anyway, but but we're here if we need us. <laughs> we are. Um, hi. So RPU has finished up um, with the vehicle obstruction and the incident response is making its way to alcoholic intoxication. This is fine. Fine, fine, fine. So the first pump's now on the scene of the caravan fire and we've got a... Uh, yeah, so it's telling us that we need another one, and Muscle Bros unit's already on the way. Right, so we've got uh, somebody with heart problems down in Dalkeith. So let's alarm. Uh, ambulance, it'll need to be. So, oh crap. Um, the Pugil Boxer, 
who's making its way back to station. So that's all the statuses. Um, let me just get this one sorted. So we've got another one. Wait, what? Why did what? Amions. Alert. There we go. Right, okay, there was no beep. Um, right, so we had a ding dong, so diabetic problems, you need to get taken to the closest hospital, which is the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh. Off you trout. Um, I was in the middle of saying something. And I have completely forgotten what it is. <laughs> So, at the moment, we've only had one serious event, which is the chimney fire. The other one I am prone to is um, multi-vehicle accidents, which uh, are interesting to try and deal with. We'll see if they come up later, because we still have 15 minutes of recording to go. We're just going to keep an eye on this pump coming in. I'm going to go off screen. Right, uh, another 99 calls coming, so what we've got, we've got a fever on Stob Hill Road, which is going to be Newton Grange Depot. But we don't have any of Newton Grange's vehicles around, so instead I'm going to have to grab um, Pepper Mills Ambulance, and I'll get the police to come and pay a visit. A lot of police officers know first aid. I can't remember if it's an actual part of normal training if only some officers get it and um, but the police will get there first and they can provide minor first aid until such a time <laughs> it's going to be 10 minutes away um, that the ambulance can get there so the way this works um, again it's a kind of uh, balance of gameplay versus uh, realism journey times are realistic um, if dealing with events is very much speeded up but, um, that's fine. It's fine. Right, okay. So, the caravan fire is now well sorted. So, we're just waiting on two getting responded to. And then we've got four events that are getting close to a close. So, let us, um... Let us show you how to expand one of your stations. So we'll expand the Trenent Police Station. Uh, it's only a small station anyway, but it does probably have more than one vehicle. Oh crap, okay, we'll deal with this first. It has a talking wheel! I, I can't get over that. I really can't get over it. Um, okay, it's got a talking wish, so we'll take it to Midlothian Community is the closest one. So we're going to go do that, and uh, tremendous, that's that one dealt with. So let's now expand this station. So, uh, we're going to expand it into level 1, which gives us access to um, another vehicle. So we'll get a new patrol car for... Uh, 5,000 credits because I don't actually have any coins at the moment. So let's call it uh, Trenent Response 02. It's a forward connect. So let's give it a. Um, what shall we think? Let's give it a Vauxhall. That's not how you spell Vauxhall. Good. Vauxhall Astra. So this will be an IRV operating out of Trun End. Um, so we've said it's going to be 30 seconds. Now, I'm only going to be able to do it with one person. And the reason for that is... Uh, actually, let's just go back to Trun Police Station. The reason for that is there's only two members of staff at this police station. So as soon as this gets back to base, we'll just knock him... We'll knock you down to one. So we're going to be single crowing. Cr crowing? <laughs> one craw sitting on a wall. Um, right, so once he gets back to the station, he'll drop off the second vehicle so that we can um, have. We're shared. So we'll be shared. Um, 
a single crew with two vehicles which is fine um, and in the background we're going to hire now you can only hire one person every day we need two so we'll recruit it over two days so that's not going to be happening in this video unless you want me to keep it going on for friggin hours nosebleed alright okay so nosebleed so let's get a uh, ambulance actually I forgot EH17 so it's going to be Pepper Mills Depot, which is incidentally what PD stands for. So for the, I don't, I don't know ambulance or police call signs. Um, I don't know a realistic thing for them. So for ambulances, I'm just using the depot name. So you've got PD for Pepper Mills Depot, ND for Newton Grange Depot, and for police, I've just got the. Well, I'm kind of ch oh brawl. Brawls are interesting because they're quite large scale. So you need two police vehicles. So actually, where is it? Let's have a look. Brawl. So it's just behind the hospital. So let's see if we can get one from Bonnie Rig and one from Dal Keith because you need two police vehicles to respond and we've seen that there's a casualty. So we will have to alert the British Red Cross because I don't know how long the rest of them are going to be. As I said previously, the um the Police can provide minor first aid for Mr. Christopher Y. <laughs> um Alcoholic toxication. So this is what I was talking about before. These need an ambulance. Ambulance. And I'm all out of that bar ambulance. So we're going to have to alert British Red Cross again to come save our bacon. And we have another serious fire incident. So we've got a roof fire. So other fire engine. We're going to need the ALP. And we're going to... Uh, well, we'll alert that for just now. And then I just want to check where it is. It's the A198 which I'm not familiar with. So it's just north of Trinent. Okay, so let's check the fire truck list. Um so we'll get Trinent and New Craig Hall, maybe Musselburgh as well. So they're all going to come on scene. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what we wanted at all. Alright, so everything is kind of under control for the moment. I say bravely, judging, um, remembering the fact that I've actually ran completely out <laughs> of ambulances. But, hey yo. Um, let's just take a little check in with the chat. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Whoa, whoa, everyone's... Uh, whoa. <laughs> I think everyone's doing, uh, when's my last message? Yeah, here we go, right, okay, so it's here. So, let's see who's talking about things. So, we've got um, Tom, who's from Southeast Triple Nine Videos. We've already seen his YouTube. Uh, you've got Cobra Emergency, so Cobra Triple Nine Videos is, uh, he's quite a big, um, YouTuber out there, he's got a lot of followers to his emergency service videos. <laughs> people subscribing to everyone. So actually all these shout outs are kind of benefiting more people than you know, just people coming to me. Um do 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 Now for God's sake, so we've got another thing, we'll just check. So <laughs> do 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 we're just checking through this. That chat, that chat. So some uh you need another police car, yeah, one's already on the way, so you need to go to hospital, so we'll send you to Bony Rig. Um Process a talk and wish. So the Midlothian Community Hospital, which is there. Obviously, I've got a lot of plans to expand. Um, we're keeping the um, the map as realistic as possible. So several fire stations won't be expanded anymore. Dalkeith is at almost full capacity. Musselburgh's at full capacity. Trenent's at full capacity. Um, New Creek Hall will be getting expanded a little bit more and we'll be adding the countless stations that are here. So even even in this view, thank you for joining the Radian Rebellion. You fucking what? Um, yeah, even in this view, in this view here, 
there's s quite a few fire stations. So, let's see if I can point out them all. You've got Liberton Fire Station, which is down here. You've got Toll Cross Fire Station, here. McDonald Road, McDonald Road is up here. I think Marionville is within the view here, but I don't actually really know where it is. And um, there's another one. I don't, I don't, I don't actually know where it is. There's quite a lot of fire stations. So yeah, in this view alone, there's, there's going to be quite a lot, and there's countless. Um, there's countless police stations in here, and, and there's also another ambulance depot somewhere, but I actually can't remember where it is. Here's Edinburgh Airport, we'll be getting there eventually. Right, um, waiting for an ambulance, waiting for an ambulance, Nosebleed got an ambulance, bro, waiting on an ambulance. Oh. Right, let's get the police RPU out. So it will alarm that. Um, right, roof fire needs three fire trucks, so we've already got... Oh, okay, so we've got them on the way, right, that's fine, that's fine. So you've got um, New Creek Hall and Muscle Bras pumps, which are travelling in tandem. They'll be there in 90 seconds, and Trenent's retained pump will be kicking off in just under a minute. So... Um, the brawl, 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 brawl. Do you not have? Oh, you need an ambulance. Let's the brawl. Okay, you're closest to that, so we'll get you in here now. Let's take a look at this brawl. Cause do you need another police car, or are you still waiting on one coming? Oh, I didn't realize you needed a third police car. Right. Okay, that's fine. So we'll get one out from Musselboro, kind of out of patch a little bit, but eh. He's fine. He is fine. Okay, so obstruction of traffic's in the centre of the town. Crikey, is that in top? Where is it? Oh, you're still waiting on the ambulance. So you're probably waiting on the British Red Cross coming from Dalkeith. Yep, and they're on the way, thank goodness. So... Renault Master's going there, Fiat Decato's going to the other one, I suppose there's another ambulance there, so we can... It kind of seems rude standing them down. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, there is actually another hospital here. Now, I've not included it. It's a private hospital. Um, I, I might include it in the future. It's got general surgery, but as I say, it's um, it's private. So, nine times out of ten, it, you won't see state-controlled ambulances uh, getting going there. I am a state-controlled emergency service operator. So, um... Yeah, might include it in the future, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We've got countless other hospitals that we need to get in, so the next hospital that will be getting added is... Where the devil is it? It's here. Um, no, it, it's right here. So this is the Western General Hospital Complex. Brush pile. Now, I've got no idea what a brush pile actually is, but uh, it's some kind of fire. Um, all I've got is Dalkeith, actually. Which is a little bit fur. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we'll get the small IRV on the way there. I don't think it's particularly serious, because it's one of the things that you get early on. Wow. It's quite a hospital complex. I've never actually seen it in map form before. <laughs> um, yes, that will be getting added sometime in the future. <laughs> so Scott, we've got Potty Scotty who does um, some emergency and some 
modification uh, for game videos. Uh, we'll put, we'll, we'll, I'll put channel links to everybody I know here. So Potty Scotty, South S, uh, blah, 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 ah, I can tell it's 11 o'clock at night yet. <laughs> South East 999 videos and Cobra Emergency videos. I'll put them in the description because it will be rude not to. And we'll just see if anyone has any last little words for us. End of my video in five minutes. That's how long you've got to watch this, by the way. <laughs> Right, so, let's go back to the mission front. How are we doing? Talking Wish, so Stop Hill Road. They're going to need to go to hospital, and it's going to have to be Midlothian Community, which oddly is seeing more emergency traffic than, um, than the Royal Infirmary. But that's mostly because there's a hospital right where I chose to have like the main focus of all my original stations. Um... Whereas the Royal Infirmary is only close to kind of the amb the one ambulance depot and one station. Yeah. Okay, so. You're still waiting on an amb- Oh, I suppose it's going to take you an F of a long time to get there. He's, al he's almost there. He's taking the, the A1, so he's on the, the fast road down to the scene of the alcoholic intoxication. So you can see there it's going down really, really slowly. Um, but it has gone down a little bit without an ambulance. That's because the police officers are providing rudimentary first aid. Uh, we've got a shoplifting Duddingston Park South. Ah, from from farm foods. All right, let's alarm. I don't think are any Craig Miller's units home. Ah, public order is. So let's get them. Let's get them deployed away. So, on the way, on the way, on the way. Roof fires, got enough vehicles on scene. The brawl. Jesus Christ. You still waiting for a police car? It was Musselboro, yeah. So, Musselboro's connect. It's almost on scene, so this will just about be getting dealt with. Just a bit. Alright, so, let's see. <laughs> so, yes. Cobra Emergency Videos is thanking you for watching this video and hopefully he gets some extra subscribers out of this. Don't use it anyway. Really go on YouTube. That's a shame. <laughs> Can't imagine a day without YouTube. Um, so somebody's shouting out 911 Operator, which is um, something in Kickstarter. Now, I'm actually a backer of this. I paid for the, the like, 40 Canadian dollars one. Maybe more than that. Um... It's, yeah, uh, basically it's a similar thing to this, um, and it's currently, uh, I know it's met its targets, but it's uh, currently exceeding its targets, so um, yeah, you can check out this link in the description below. For fairness, I obviously will <laughs> have missionchief.com. The difference the difference being 911 operator is going to be a um, Steam game, so you have to buy it to play it, whereas missionchief.com you can get for free. So I expect this to probably be more involved, but costing money, whereas this is a good bit of fun. Um, it's actually, you know, surprisingly well set out for, um, for the fact that it is free. I mean, I've given it, I've given it money, but you don't have to do that. Uh, or, uh, what's, what else have we got? Um, be right back, okay. Everybody safe in London, which is good. I imagine that's not something that gets said quite a lot, unfortunately. And I don't really think we have anything else to kind of say. So we're kind of at a natural breaking point at the moment where we're just waiting on things getting dealt with. 
that's probably a good time to call this the end of this video. So, um, from myself and the 999 UK Response Alliance, this has been MissionChief.com. Um, I just kind of, like I say, I, I, I didn't really, wasn't really too sure if I was going to like this video, um, like this game or not. Um, but actually, I really do like it. And if you want to see more videos of MissionChief.com, as our group gets uh, more, uh, more, what's the word? We kind of get. We kind of progress further along the progression ladder and get more stations and kind of... You'll get to a point eventually where you can deal with all the incidents on your turf and be able to deal with incidents on other turfs. So at that point, we might start doing kind of alliance-wide videos and things. So if you want to see all of those things um, on MissionChief.com... Do all the things that you usually do to um, let people know about um, that in the description of, in the comments of this video. So you can let me know in the comments, you can like this video, you can subscribe to myself and everyone who's had a shout out. And of course, if you really want to, you can also join us on MissionChief.com. You can play it single player or you can join our alliance if you are subject to the <laughs> if you are prepared to be subject to the rules in which we all abide by. Um, so yeah, you can be part of the fun with us as well if you want to, if it's your cup of tea. So I think this video has gone on for long enough, so fall in person. Do I even have another ambulance spare? Yes, I do. Okay, so pepper mill. Um, one quick line before I end this video. So the problem that you, problem that you get is it costs more and more to expand further. So if I drop into Bonnie Rig, if I want to expand Bonnie Rig Police Station, that's Dalkey that I clicked on. Uh, Bonnie Rig Police Station, it's at level zero. So to expand it, it would cost me ten thousand credits. However, if I go over to Craig Miller, which already has it's on level one, so I can expand it further to level 2, it now costs a whopping great 50,000 credits, so 5 times as much. Um, it takes a lot longer to do expansions uh, and things. So it's kind of important to kind of strategize your resources a bit. Of course, it actually only costs 100,000 credits for a new station. Um, and there's another alarm for obstruction in traffic. So let's get um, road policing unit. Where's RPU? Here we go. So it's on the way back to Dalkeith. So we'll get that out. And now that that's all been sorted and we are again at a bit of a breaking point, I will call this the end of this episode of MissionChief.com. So I really hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed my fellow... Um, well, I hope that you will enjoy my fellow YouTubers' channels. Um, and as I say, if you want to come and join us, you can make your application. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!